guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to to episodes 9 and 10 of Love Chain of Oil and Other Illusions. Let's go ahead and get started with episode 9 in 3, 2, 1, go. Mm. Okay. What? Oh. Seriously? Oh, damn, y'all screwed. Okay, Shinka, what you do? <laughs> but you guys do need to talk. I mean... You would think that they would talk because I mean, the last time we talked, when they talked with the babies. Um, I can't believe I'm almost done with the show. I mean, we'll really see them one. I watched this quick. <laughs> But you telling me that these two quit cheerleading and can Okay. I get Chinka's reason. That that's a good reason, but <laughs> let's just make just to spend more time with Cumin because it's obvious that he has a crush on Cumin. Oh, God. Oh, like a play. Or were we playing in like guitars and instruments and ish? Oh my god. <laughs> Did I put my phone on? Yeah, I did. This had to be true. Oh, you do, Rika, don't you? No, you do. You know you want to. It's written all over your face. Because they haven't talked, talked. They talk, but not. <laughs> oh my god, Sonny, don't kill him. <laughs> Nothing.
not really time for them to know. I feel like more maybe towards the end of season one or possibly season two. Oh, pizza is so stupid. <laughs> hmm. But not like this long. But you know, you just are useless. <laughs> he just needs to talk to her, that's all. <laughs> oh, come on, it's good. Your inner Ronco is like unbeat, girl. I swear to God. I'm <laughs> no, she's just taking a nap. Then, okay. My Ronco, my Shadow, my any other character she's playing. Go talk to him. I mean, you'll feel better if you talk to him. You know you're so upset about it. Oh my god, his eyes are really pretty.
interesting how normal she can be. Because we're going to talk, but in her way. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, damn. <laughs> but take his hand. Look at him, he's so cute! Oh my god, I always fall for the guys who have green eyes in the Kyoto Annie series. <laughs> the first one was Makoto, and then Hatsune and Dal <laughs> Go on! There we go! Mm, I know, he's so- I know, them eyes. Weak! Uh-huh. Because it's so obvious. I mean, look at last week's episode, even though, okay, as of today, because it is Monday for me. It came out today. But, I mean, the way that they looked each other at each other and the way she looks at him, like, oh, I can't. I have to close the blinds on a second. Of course. He's so cute. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my god. Mm, there's that rock on that. Oh, 
a butterfly. Rika, I know. What do you think? Go on, you can do it. Oh, God. Yusuke, you can't quit now. Oh. Mm, you just ripped the book. Oh. I hope so.
please don't. Oh! Um. Grab her legs. All according to plan. Aww. That's so fucking cute. Oh my god, like. She could have got really hurt, but thank God he was there to help her and save her. Like, oh God, because imagine. I probably would have cried. Oh, that was so sweet. Like, oh. See, now that she has feelings for him, the biggest thing is when is Utah going to acknowledge his feelings? Are we going to go the rest of this season and then eventually all of season two, maybe even the movie, because like I said, the movie is the last thing I have to watch for this series. But I mean, it makes you wonder, are they going to get together by the end of the series? Because that's all I freaking want. Just let it happen, please. Like, that's like free. You know, all them guys secretly like each other, especially Haru and Makoto. And you just want them to get together. God dang it. It's like, come on. It's bound to happen. We don't know if it's going to be canon or not in the book series. So I'm just like, let it happen. Or, you know, let Haru fall in love with Rin. And then let Makoto find somebody else. Because <laughs> I just want Makoto to be happy. But yeah, I mean, they keep together. Come on now. Like, you can't tell me that Rick and Yuko, Yuko, I mean, you know, Yuko. Utah look cute together because they do. They look so freaking cute together. And if they don't end up together by the end of this dang show, I'm gonna be really pissed. Like, I mean, I was still pissed by the heck of when I finished Hayoka, and that pissed me off. It's been about, what, a month or two since I finished Hayoka, and I'm like, what you mean they didn't get together, like, at the end? I mean, in the final episode, you know, Hataru, you know, Hotaro finally realizes that maybe, yeah, he has feelings for her because, like, you could see it really throughout the whole entire series that he had feelings for her, but that last episode, I think that's when he truly really realized, like, oh, snap, I do have feelings for this girl. And I was just like, okay, like, confess to her by the end of this episode, and then it didn't happen, and I was like, well, maybe a season two. We in 2020, and there ain't no season two yet, and I really want a season two. That, or I'm just gonna read the book to see what in the world happened in the dang book to see if they got together. But, I mean, they're just, you know, Rega and, you, um, <clears throat> and Yuta, they're just so freaking cute together. It's just that moment of her, like, embracing, because yes, not only she's scared, but she feels comfortable around him, and it's finally, you know, the the little like not only sexual tension between the two but it's more of the drama that just happened in the la in last week's episode going into this week's episode and the fact that they hadn't really talked to each other that i mean that has been solved there's nothing else that they can really do about that they've moved on they've talked about it in their own ways but still they still need to talk and so maybe in episode 10 they could possibly talk. I don't really know. But yeah, go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 10. Okay, episode 10 in 3, 2, 1, go.
that is him right there acknowledging slowly but surely I'm getting these feelings And it's supposed to rain all the rest of the day, too. It's sure sunny. Giving you a hug. Yeah, it feels different. But that's you also acknowledging your feelings that you like him. Yeah, and how did it feel? Uh huh. Please don't kill him. Do you want to confess first, or do you want her to confess first? Yeah, but that's the reason why you fall in love with her and getting to know her. 
you know, you're not doing that in a city. In a way, like, I can kind of compare her to Haru from Persona 5 and Princess, because that's my ship. Because Jim plays Persona 5 for Kai and he's like, Oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh. Are you gonna go confess to Cumin? Oh my god, Sane, there's no reason to fight. It's okay. <laughs> oh. Take this is their second thing. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god.
This is just Haru and Joker for Persona 5 confessing to each other and I love it. It's so cute. You want Pinky? <laughs> That's so cute. It only took one up. Thank you. I'm glad it didn't, you know, stretch it out because I would have been pissed. Okay, about. That you want to take her. See, I think if you just don't let her know, don't know. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Kids act differently. Every kid uses an armor to protect themselves from something. Even as a teenager going into an adult living, you know, dealing with their parents' actions and consequences. So then what do you do? That's the biggest thing. What the biggest thing is what is you to think is right, you know? Oh my god. <laughs>
Sonic, what the hell? You may not want to talk to her about that now. her mom. Oh, God. I'm going to skew and sleep. <laughs> she might want not want to talk to you though. Yeah. But it might complicate.
Oh, oh my god. I don't know what to say about this episode. I have mixed feelings. I'm happy, but at the same time, I am sad. Like, I was not expecting it to go out like that between them. I mean, I wish we kind of got to see it instead of them showing, showing it, but then, you know, them not talking. And did it just complicate more like the situation between these two? Yes, it did. It really complicated the situation between these two. I just need them now to really just once again sit down and talk. I mean, you feel bad for her. And now that like her sister is possibly going to be going away because she I think she's gonna say yes to it and then Rika's mom is gonna come. I wasn't expecting to see her mom in this episode. I was expecting him more in 11 or 12. Oh. Bruh. Oh my god. This is awkward. But like seeing them put this to each other, that was the cutest thing ever. I'm sorry. That was too freaking cute. Like this because she didn't want to hold his hand. Oh my god, that's just so fucking cute. Like, come on now. Oh my god, I, I can't with this show. Oh. Can I think that too? Oh shit. Was this Tomiko Market? What? That, yeah, that's Tomiko Market. <laughs> well, don't worry. I'm still going to watch that on my own. Mm-hmm. Probably maybe this week. I don't know. Because I, I really, really want to watch that show. Because it seems so good. And it's funny how, you know, you get a little commercial on this episode. Just remind me, like, hey, you said you was going to watch the show. And yeah, you're going to do it now. Or you're going to do it later. I know, because I'm currently watching, like, several shows on my own and I'm like yeah I kind of need to finish one to start another one you gotta you gotta but like oh she took contact oh my god like uh I don't mm, this it's gonna be awkward next week like really 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 awkward I mean both Toka and Yuta they're gonna approach her but I think when they do Rick is not going to want to talk to them. She's not going to want to have anything to do with them. I don't want the Because of the fact is these next two episodes are the last two episodes of season one before I watch the OVA and episode 14. I don't want it to leave off on a bad ending for these. for Really for those two plus her sister. I mean. But honestly who knows how these last two episodes are going to end with these two. I mean. Do we even count them that they're still together now? I mean. Do we, or, uh, I don't know, it's complicated now. I mean, what do you say to that? Like, <laughs> so honestly, really, what do you say to that? But honestly, I have no clue. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to you towards episodes 9 and 10 of Love, Chino Boyo, and Other Delusions. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Marshall Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially on next Friday for Patreons. And next Monday for everybody else for episodes 11 and 12. Bye, guys.